In 1972, a group of young women in Toronto participated in a unique and controversial experiment. They agreed to live in a hospital ward for 14 weeks and smoke marijuana every day under close observation. The experiment was part of a government-funded research program to determine the effects of chronic cannabis use on healthy individuals and society. The researchers wanted to see if regular marijuana smoking would make the women less productive, less motivated, and less intelligent. The women were divided into two groups. One that smoked high-potency weed twice a night, and one that smoked placebo weed with no active ingredient. They also had to perform a simple task every day. Weaving colorful belts on a loom. The belts were meant to measure their work performance and motivation. The women were paid for each inch of belt they produced, and they could spend their earnings on snacks, magazines, or other items in the ward. The experiment was closely monitored by a team of doctors, nurses, and psychologists who tested the women's physical and mental health regularly. They measured their blood pressure, heart rate, lung function, brain activity, memory, IQ, and personality. They also observed their behavior, mood, and social interactions. The women were not allowed to contact anyone outside the ward, except for occasional supervised phone calls with their families. The experiment was supposed to answer some of the burning questions that surrounded marijuana in the 1970s, when the drug was illegal but widely used by young people. Prime Minister Pierre Trudeau had proposed to decriminalize cannabis in 1969, but faced opposition from conservative politicians and anti-drug activists who feared that legalizing weed would lead to social chaos and moral decay. The experiment was funded by the Ontario government, which hoped to find evidence that marijuana was harmful and should remain prohibited. However, the results of the experiment were never published or made public. The data was never analyzed or shared with the scientific community or the media. The researchers seemed to disappear after the experiment ended, and the women were left wondering what happened to them and their data. Some of them suspected that the results were suppressed because they did not support the anti-marijuana agenda of the government. Some of them also claimed that they suffered long-term psychological damage from the experiment, such as paranoia, anxiety, depression, and flashbacks. The story of the experiment remained hidden for decades, until it was uncovered by a Toronto Star reporter in the article sparked interest and outrage among the public and the cannabis community.